Hi guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. One of my hobbies, and I have like hundreds of them. I'm always telling women, um, I say women because they have a lot of girlfriends. Like I'll have my girlfriend call me up and she's like, oh, everything's stressing me out. And I'll say, you know what I have? I have a hundred hobbies. I'm so busy. I just, you know, I, I do my crafts and I pray. But anyway, this might look funny to you, but I'll tell you what this is. I like to make rag rugs. So what I'll do is I'll take my old materials that for some reason maybe I did some sewing or adjusting and if it's in a long string I cut up long strings about four inches what I'll do is I will put them on a hanger according to color and uh, like this is gonna be a blue one and um, when I go to make my rag rugs I'll sit and I'll just put a couple stitches in each end these are just cut they're not sewn in or anything. I'll just cut and then, or I would rather I'll just sew up the two ends together with a few stitches. And uh, that's how I get the thread, so to speak, for my rugs. And so that they match nice and look good. I just, you know, whenever I cut up a piece of clothing and sewing or something, I just, you know, if I, if I have a long enough strand, I'll tie it on a hanger. Or you can buy fabric or go to, uh, I guess, uh, you know, yard sale or something. But I just take anything that I'm working on. I'll just uh, designate a spot for it. And then um, what I'll do is I'll take uh, these, like I said before, I just take the ends and I'll just sew them together. And then I'll have the yarn to crochet, weave, um, you know, braid whatever I feel like doing so it takes a while but after a while you get a nice collection and if somebody says oh I'm gonna throw out some old t-shirts or something you're like I'll take them because you, know? <laughs> you never know you know these little scrappy pieces can make a nice little rug but I do organize them like this so I can have them with rhyme or reason and you'll be surprised at how fast your collection can get up especially when you start cleaning out your closets and stuff like that so that's what I do and of course it's always nice to give people clothing and stuff if you have a friend or something to give things to but if you have things that maybe they got a stain on them or no one's gonna want um just put them in your craft room hang them up in the spare closet and uh one night when you feel wonky just sew them together and uh start your project. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope they gave you a little insight into um, making some threads and stuff. Um, the problem with two, I want to mention this, is I used to tie them in a knot. I mean, because I'd get lazy because I'd be like, you know, I mean, I didn't have my sewing machine out all the time. And then I said, that's silly. Just sew them because it makes a big difference. And you know, it just makes it lay flatter and stuff. So keep watching my channel. I'll have more things to show. Okay, guys, remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. God bless.